Hi there, I'm Zach Haddock with Preco's Die Cut Division here in Lenexa, Kansas. This is going to be the first in a series of videos we do called Tech Tips. And today I want to talk to everybody a little bit about how to do proper make ready. Uh, proper make ready is going to minimize your labor and maximize your job changeover. So the press we're going to be working on today is a Preco 1220 CCD Vision Registered Press. But the make ready process is the same no matter what sort of Preco you're running on. So let's let, take a look at the parts of the make ready. Now you'll see inside the die set here, we have our cutting plate and then we have our make ready sheet. This make ready sheet, what I always recommend people use is a 12 thousandths thick vulcanized fiber paper, also sometimes called fish paper. Um, this stuff is very durable and the reason we use it is because it's non-compressible. This will actually probably outlast your steel rule die. Okay, so what we do is we set it up on the plate, as you can see here, and we tape it so that it's hinged and we can move it back and forth. Okay, this fish paper, the reason we use it at 12 thousandths thick is because when we're setting up the press, when we don't know where that die height is, we can come down and this will act as a safety net for us, okay? Because we don't ever want the die to strike the plate. We just want to cut the material, put enough pressure on it to cause the fracture or the burst, but the blade will never actually touch the plate. And that's going to increase our die life and keep the die sharper longer. So what we're ready to do now is we, we don't know exactly where, uh, we're going to assume this is a new die, we don't exactly know where in space that die is going to cut relative to the mic stop. So this is where this becomes our safety net. Being that this is 12 thousandths thick, what I wanna do is I'm gonna adjust the mic stop so that I can visually see that the die is not touching this make ready sheet. Um, and then from there, we can come down 10 thousandths at a time until we cut this carbon paper or make an impression. The reason we wanna make the impression is because we need to be able to see the die lines because this later on, when we go to do make ready uh, with make ready tape, that will let us know where we need to place it or take it away if we need to make the cut deeper. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the carbon paper and we'll place it on top of our make ready sheet and that's going to get placed into the die set. From this point we're going to adjust the mic stop and then we'll come down 10 thousandths at a time until we either cut this carbon paper, make an impression, or if we end up going a little too deep we may cut the make ready paper but that's okay, we won't strike the plate. If we cut the make ready paper, we'll just put a new piece on, back up and go from there. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to look inside the, the uh, die set here and I'm gonna manually jog that ram down until we're close to that cutting plate, but not quite touching it. Um, from that point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the mic stop back up so that we're holding short, uh, short of contacting that carbon paper uh, so that we can then start adjusting it down in those 10 thou increments until we get our impression on the uh, make ready sheet. So we've got the mic stop set now so that we're holding just short of actually contacting that carbon paper with the blade. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cycle the ram, take a cut, take a look at that uh, carbon paper and if we haven't hit it, we'll come down 10 thou at a time until we do. Remember, that 12 thou thick fish paper or uh, vulcanized fiber paper, that's our safety net. As long as we only come down 10 thou at a time, there's zero risk that we're going to strike the plate with that blade. We cycled the ram, uh, took our first test cut. Let's open it up and see if we uh, mark the carbon paper. Okay, so we'll pull it out here, and then I can tell by looking at it right there. We did not uh, cut or mark that carbon at all. There's no marks on the make ready plate. So what that means is, is now we need to bring that mic stop down another 10 thou and take another hit. Okay, so we lowered the mic stop 10 thou, we took another cut. Let's see if that got us what we were looking for. Perfect. You can see here, we cut the, the carbon paper. Okay, so that's telling me that we're going to leave a mark. 
Look at that. Nice, clean impression, okay? What you want to look at now is we want to make sure that we didn't cut too deep. We cut that carbon paper, but we don't want to be cutting down into the vulcanized fiber. I'll just rub my fingernail over it and try to feel for a ridge or a cut in there, and there's none. This is perfect. We've got a nice, clean impression all the way around that tells me that my die is nice and flat, and um, we, we cut the carbon paper, but not the fish paper. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. So at this point, this is actually now what I call zeroed or set up for a through cut. This, uh, the, the, the blade is coming down, but it's just barely above the height of the plate. It's not going to contact it. Um, it's just going to make a nice through cut on whatever material we put in. So from here, we're going to take this, our safety net, we don't need it anymore. We're going to flip it over to the back side of the cutting plate. Okay, you can see it's a brand new cutting plate, no marks on it. And we're going to slide it into the press. Okay, at this point, now it's time for us to put our material in and take a test cut and see if we need to do any adjustments. Okay, so here's our material that we're going to be working with today. This is about a 16th inch thick, 60 thousandths uh, thick rubber material. Uh, it's textured. Um, we're going to do a through cut on this material. So what you're generally going to do just to make sure everything's set up correctly is you're just going to cut off a single piece of your material. And we're going to just lay, manually lay it into the die cavity area. Try to center it up over those dies, over the rule, and we're just going to simply take a test cut and see how we did. So let's open it up, let's take a look at our material and see if we got the cut we're looking for. Those are nice, clean cuts. Parts popped right out. Now let's take a look at the plate. Okay, you'll see if we look at the plate, we're not contacting the plate with the blade at all, okay? You can look, if, we, if the blade would have struck this plate, there would be a nice shiny defined line where the rule actually cuts just a little bit into the spring steel, but there's nothing there. There's a little wear mark from the pressure, but there's no mark. This is, a, this is exactly what you're looking for for a through cut. What happens is with materials is uh, cutting is a little bit of a misleading term we're not cutting it. We're crushing it to the point where it bursts or it splits. It's just like when you split a log. The maul or the axe does not have to go all the way through the log before the log bursts and splits apart. And that's exactly what's going on here. Uh, we, we don't need to hit the plate. We don't want to hit the plate. That's going to extend our die life. That's going to keep our die sharper. And you're going to end up with nice, clean cuts. Oh.